This is Geometry, Chapter 0, where we will be preparing for the things we'll need to learn for geometry. Section 1 of this prep chapter is about changing units within the same system of measurement. You probably already know there are two main systems of measurement. The metric system and what they call the customary system is the one you're used to feet, inches, ounces, etc. The metric system you dealt with in Science 9 last year, I'm sure. Meters and kilograms and things of that sort. And what we will be doing is converting our units within that system. Some of the problems we'll be dealing with will give us units for uh, dimensions of say the length and the width of a rectangle or some such and sometimes it'll be feet on one side and inches on the other and we will need to be able to convert those to the same unit to be able to work. To do that we need to know our conversion factors. So I've got here grouped by what kind of thing they are some conversion pieces. In metric, things go by factors of 10. One centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters. One meter is a hundred centimeters. 10 times 10 makes a hundred. One meter is also a thousand millimeters and one kilometer is a thousand meters. So just basic conversions for metric lengths. Compare that to the units you're used to. One foot equals 12 inches. 12 is a really convenient number to work with. One yard is 3 feet. And one mile is 5,280 feet. Another really convenient number to work with. When it comes to weights and masses, the ones you're used to, one pound is the same as 16 ounces, and one ton is 2,000 pounds. Metric still uses factors of 10. One gram is the same as 1,000 milligrams just like one meter is the same as a thousand millimeters. One gram is a thousand milligrams. One kilogram is the same as a thousand grams. Just like a kilometer is the same as a thousand meters. And those prefixes tip you off as to what the conversion factor is. In metric volume we really typically only deal with one conversion, liters and milliliters, one liter is a thousand milliliters. There's that thousand and milla again, just like we saw here, and just like we saw here. For customary volumes, these are your kitchen measurements that are, again, so much fun to work with. One cup is eight fluid ounces. Don't get these ounces, fluid ounces, confused with weight ounces. They're different. One cup is eight fluid ounces. One pint is two cups. One quart is two pints. And one gallon is four quarts. So those are the various values we're going to be needing. And I'm going to be asking you through the rest of the video to refer back to the page you where you just took these notes. Because I'm not going to flip back and forth on the slides. So have those numbers in front of you on your note sheet. So here's the kind of thing they're going to ask us to do. They're going to ask us to complete the sentence. And they give me 4.6 kilometers and they want to know how many meters that is. 
There are a number of ways to do this. You can set up proportions, but when you have multiple conversion factors, it gets to be a big pain doing proportions. So I use the fraction method. We have 4.6 kilometers. And I'm going to multiply by my conversion factor. 1,000 meters is the same as 1 kilometer. I put the kilometer on bottom so that it will cancel that kilometer. And whatever unit they give you here needs to go down here as well on the bottom. Well, now it's easy. Grab my trusty calculator. 4.6 times 1,000 gives me 4,600 meters. Okay. This next one, we're going to need a couple of more factors to work with. They give me a number of yards, 6,600 yards, and they want me to go to miles. On our trusty list back there, which is not every factor you could ever need, just a rough you know, listing of them, some of them, there's nothing that connects yards to miles. There is something that connects yards to feet, okay, three feet in one yard, so I can cancel my yards out and get to a number of feet, and then there's a factor that connects feet to miles. One mile is the same as 5,280 feet. Okay. Yard cancels yard, feet cancels feet, and all I'm left with is miles. Well, now my calculator can do the heavy lifting. 6,600 times 3 divided by 5,280 gives me 3.75 miles. One of the features you're going to see on most of the videos is from time to time I will ask you to pause the video and try a problem yourself and then you'll be able to come back and check your answer. This is the first case of that for uh, geometry here. So what I'm going to ask you to do is pause your video, convert five tons to ounces, and then come back and check your answer. So you have five tons, and you want to go to ounces. We don't have a direct conversion. So we have to turn our five tons into pounds first, and then turn our pounds into ounces. Ton cancels ton, pound cancels pound. Five times 2,000 times 16. And you get 160,000 ounces. The last thing they're going to throw at us here in this first section is they're going to ask us to determine which metric unit we should use to measure things. To be able to really do that, you need to be able to compare things based on everyday things you already know about to figure out which unit would be the best choice. And again, this is not an all-encompassing list. There are other things that you could use. But roughly speaking, a centimeter is about the same as a half an inch. It's not quite, but it's close. So if they ask you, should this be measured in meters or centimeters, well, is it something that's in more inches or more like yards? because one meter is about a yard. A doorway, you would probably measure the height of the door in meters, because it's more than a yard. A piece of paper, you would probably measure in centimeters, because it's way less than a yard. Similarly, a liter is approximately the same as a quart. So when you buy a two-liter bottle of soda at the uh, grocery store, 
You're buying basically two quarts, a little bit over, but close. One gram is about how much a paper clip weighs. Grams are not big weights by any means. On the other hand, a kilogram, a thousand grams, is about two pounds. It's a little over two pounds. But that gives you some basis for comparison so that when they ask you what would be the appropriate unit and metric, will you know roughly what it would be in the customary system so then you'll have some comparison to work with. Okay. Hopefully if you had any questions along the way, you wrote those down on your trusty note sheet there and bring those with you and we will see you in class.